Hello, Mr. Snyder here. Just wanted to say hello to you all. I hope you're all doing well. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about this little project we're working on. It's called vlogging, and vlogging is really like a video diary. It's as if you had an old-fashioned type of diary where you wrote down your thoughts, wrote down what your experiences were, wrote down what your dreams were, whatever it is that you was important to you and you wanted to enter in your written diary, we're going to do it in, in digital form instead, and we're going to do it on our phones. Uh, this is kind of to replace, I hope, uh, the experience that we're not getting in class right now because it's not possible, but that won't stop us because frankly, we're able to do a lot of the stuff we want to do right on our phones, just as I am now. I'm on my phone. And also we'll be able to edit the stuff, whether it's on our phones or if you have a desktop computer, there's also free software there. So you're not gonna have to pay for anything. And hopefully this replaces the experience you can't get right now in the classroom. Um, the important thing right now is stay home and stay safe. Now, what's a vlog? Vlog, as I said, is just your own experiences and thoughts that we're going to do in digital form. Uh, the, the key, though, is that we really want to try to tell like mini stories. So we don't want to try to cover off a whole lot of topics all mixed together. For example, maybe I'm vacuuming one day. Maybe I'm working out another day. Maybe I'm sitting watching TV one day. Maybe I'm video conferencing one day with my family and try to make that all into one vlog. That really won't be all that effective because your viewer really won't know what the focus of your story is. So let's try to keep these into little mini stories. And the things I've just suggested would be probably four different blogs as opposed to one blog with a whole bunch of things mixed in. So when you think of these things, think of them in that way. Mini stories that you're going to tell. Now, sorry for looking off this way all the time. I'm looking at my little record button right there instead of looking at the lens right here. So I'll try to do a little better there. This is new for me too. I'm using actually a little uh, iPhone gimbal. We have a couple for the classroom, which we just bought. Uh, clearly we can't have access to them now, but if you have a selfie stick or some device that will help you hold your camera as you speak, even if you just prop it up against Kleenex boxes or a stack of pots and pans, whatever it is to give you a shot similar to mine with the camera close enough, about a foot or two away, so as you're speaking, we can hear you clearly. That's one of the keys, is have the camera close enough. That does not mean you can't be walking around and vlogging, which is much more visually interesting than what I'm doing right now. But there may be times where you wanna talk just to the camera, just like I am now because you wanna make a point. And maybe you wanna make your points and then support your points with visuals that you're then going to show showing what you're talking about. For example, if I was doing a blog right now specifically on my elliptical and getting exercise and losing weight, then I would talk to the camera perhaps a little bit to set up what I'm doing it, most importantly, why I'm doing it, and then also what kind of progress am I making. Those would be my three little mini points in my story. And then I'd probably wanna show you some visuals, maybe not, but yeah, in this case I would, show you visuals of me on my elliptical and really grinding it out, working hard to get the, the weight loss down. So that's kind of one little mini story and that would be like vlog one if that's what you wanted it to be. So think mini stories, please. Now, what will be helpful for you is before you begin shooting, write down the outline of your idea. What do you want to accomplish today? Is it a story about, say, my elliptical? Then what are the things I want to do? I want to talk about those three points. What am I doing? Why am I doing it? And how am I doing? That's all I want to talk about. Three little things. It's going to be about a minute long, probably. And then, so I'll write that down. That's the things I want to talk about to the camera. Then I want to show some visuals. It's called B-roll. B-roll are visuals that you would show over top of the talking voiceover as you're speaking that support what you're talking about. Make sure that whatever you're saying is supported by what you're showing. Don't, don't talk about elliptical workouts and show me making a cake. That'll make no sense to anybody. They've got to be working together. Okay, so that's called B-roll, as in the letter B. And that's the most common way of constructing a mini story with video. First of all, you start with some talking and then you say, okay, what did I talk about? Now I gotta get some shots of that to make it much more interesting. So that's really the place for you to start is think mini stories and making that little list before you start shooting. So I want that, those shots of me talking, what is it I'm doing, uh, why am, why am I doing it and how? what kind of progress am I making? Then I'm going to get shots. I'm going to get different angles of different shots 
of me on my elliptical. I might get a nice big wide shot where I can see me and the whole elliptical grinding it out. Then I might get a closer shot of my face as I'm sweating it out, trying to make it through my 15 minutes. I'm only doing 15 minutes at a time. And then maybe I'll get a shot of my screen as I'm working out to show you, hey, the guy's making progress. Then maybe I'll show my legs working hard because that's where all the work comes from on an elliptical. It's great because it's a non-impact uh, device. And then I might want to also show, uh, well, I won't show an after picture. Well, maybe I'll show an after picture of me with some sweat pouring down to say, hey, that was hard. Because ultimately, that's how you make progress when you're working out, is you have to sweat it to actually have some results. So that's an idea of a little mini story for one vlog, just one vlog, just one story. So the key is though, try to make that little short shot list before you shoot. It'll make it much easier for you to focus your idea so that before you shoot, you know what it is you're going to be talking about and showing. Give it a try. This is my first entry. I'll put this on my Weebly. You may already be there now. I'll also put it on the classroom, the Google Classroom site for people to watch. Um, and uh, I'll talk about lots of other things too when to have more success when you're vlogging. One of them is the background you're showing as you're vlogging. The uh, other things is about how about camera movement? How do I do that so it's not distracting but it adds some excitement? I'll talk about those things and I'll actually show you using my device. Thanks very much. I hope you're all well. And if you have any comments, any questions, please post them on the classroom or you can simply email me and I'll be glad to look at your footage as you go and I'll also be glad to answer all of your questions as you go as well. Happy vlogging everyone!